We're following results for all of tonight's biggest races and issues all across the Miami Valley. That includes the primary race for Dayton Mayor here on your local election headquarters. We have team coverage for you tonight. We're starting with 2 News reporter Adam Reif, who is following up with the candidates and the latest results in the Dayton mayoral race. Here at Coco's Bistro, City Commissioner Jeffrey Mims and other City Commission candidates watched those results and it quickly turned into a victory party for Mims as he had a resounding statement tonight in the mayoral race. Let's take a look at the results right now with 100% of the precincts reporting current Dayton City Commissioner Jeffrey Mims the clear winner with 58% of the vote. But two candidates advanced from this runoff election. No one could have won this seat outright tonight, no matter how well they perform. So our attention now shifts down ballot to which candidate will be knocked off. Former Dayton Fire Chief Rennes Bowers won 26% of the vote to former Dayton Mayor Gary Leitzel 16%. Once those results are certified, Bowers will face Mims in six months. The winner will be the new mayor of Dayton. But Mims is the clear favorite right now. It's an intriguing storyline. This was Bowers' first political campaign. Mims has served in city government for several years now. But if the results in November are similar to those tonight, there will be little drama. And that poses a unique challenge for each candidate. Mims cannot get complacent or take this win for granted. Bowers must work to build on this momentum and make up a big gap. And both men tonight tell me they're confident in their chances. If you take a, a playbook for any athletic team, you, you look at what you did right and you look at what you can do better. And uh, that's what I think all of us should do anyway. Uh, so we look at those things that um, seem to accelerate the momentum that we had as far as the successes in the campaign. The more doors we knock on, the more refined our message gets because we're really representing them. And the people are telling us exactly what they want. And that's exactly what's been on our heart the entire time. So their message and our message are one. And as, as that catches uh, more and more people's attention, I think we'll be fine. And of course, our nightly reminder every election night, these results are unofficial until they're certified, but with more than 800 votes separating Bowers from Leitzel right now, it's virtually certain we have our two finalists. Live in Dayton, Adam Rife, 2 News, working for you.